Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is minimum length of string after deleting similar ends. So we're given a string S which consists of only characters A, B and C. You are asked to apply the following algorithm on the string any number of times. So we have to pick a non-empty prefix from the string S where all the characters in the prefix are equal. We have to also pick a non-empty suffix from the string S where all the characters inside that suffix are equal. And now both the prefix and suffix should not intersect at any index and also the characters present inside the prefix and suffix must be same. If these conditions satisfy, then we can delete prefix and suffix from the input string S. And we can apply these steps any number of times. So all these five steps constitute one number of times. And our final task is to return the minimum length of string after performing the above operations any number of times. You can also perform them zero number of times. So let's take a look at these examples and see how we can solve this question. So let's take the three examples. The first example, we have to implement the five steps. So prefix is the starting part of the string. So we can consider this as a prefix, this as a prefix, this as a prefix or the entire thing also as a prefix and suffix is from the end. So this is a suffix, this is a suffix, this is a suffix and the entire thing will also be a suffix. Now we have to pick prefix and suffix and both of them should not intersect and the characters present inside prefix and suffix should be the same. So since we have to deal with both ends, the idea which comes into your mind is to place two pointers in the starting and the end. Let's take the first example. So start is in the beginning and end is in the end. And now I'll consider this as the prefix and this as the suffix. Both the characters are same, no. So we can't move forward and we end the iteration. We can't delete them. So we end the iteration. And what is the length? Length is equal to end minus start. So this is the index position, end plus one. End minus start, end is at one and start is at zero plus one is equal to two. So two is the length of the string and that string is CA. So two will be your output. Now let's take the second example. So start is in the beginning and end is in the end. Now we have to check if the, both the characters at start and end are same. Yes. So don't delete them. We just have to find the final length, right? We just have to move the pointers. So ignore this. Only check if the characters are same. So we checked these conditions. Both the characters are same. This condition is satisfied. Now we have to check if the characters in prefix and suffix are same. So we move the pointers. So our task is to move start. Start will move from left to right and end will move from right to left. So until start is less than end, we keep iterating. Now we check if we can still move start. So we check this character and this character, both are not same. So move forward. Now again check if end and this character are same. No, both are not same. So move end forward. Now again we have to check if these two characters are same. So start with this condition first. Yes, both are same. Now we have to check if we can still move start. We check these two characters, both are not same. So now we check if this and this are same, so they're not same, so end is moving forward. Now we again check if these both are same, yes. Now we check if start is equal to these two characters, no. Now we check if this and this are same, no, so end will move forward. Now we check if these two characters are same, yes, so start will move forward and end will move here. So now as you can see here, this condition is failing. Start has crossed end, so we end the iteration. And now we have to calculate the length. Length is equal to end minus start plus 1. So calculate the index positions first. So end is at 3 and start is at 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. So 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So length is 0. So it means we deleted all the characters and the final length is 0. Now let's take this example. Start and end. Now what is the current character? We check with the beginning. CH is equal to A. Now check if start and end are same. Yes. Now we have to check the prefix if we can still move. We check if this character A is still equal to the character which we are comparing, yes. So move start forward. Now we have to check if we can still move start forward, start will move forward. Now we check if this character is equal to CH, no. So we end the iteration. Now we have to check for the suffix. Now check if this character and A are same, yes. So move and forward. Now we check if this character and CH are same, no. So we end the iteration. Now take the current character where start is pointing, start is pointing to B, so CH is B. Now check if start and B are same. Yes, so move start forward. Now check again if we can move start. Check if C and B are same. No, so start will stop. Now we check if this character at end and CH are same because now we are checking for the suffix. Yes, both are same, so end will move to the left. Now check if this character and end B, CH are same. Yes, so end will move to the left. Now check if this character and CH are same. No, so end will stop. 
Now this was the first condition to check right in every iteration we are checking if first start and end are same only then we are checking this condition second and this condition third. So first this condition is only failing because start is pointing to C and end is pointing to A. Both are not same. So first condition is only failing so end the iteration. Now find the length. Length is equal to end minus start plus 1. So end is equal to 5 and start is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 3. So length is equal to 3 and what is the length? the length is equal to cca. Now let's implement the same steps in a java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name. This is the input string as given to us and the return type is an integer and that return type is the minimum length of s. So let's start off by creating the two pointers start and end. Start is going to be pointing at the 0th index position and end is going to be pointing at the end of the array. Now we have to move the start pointer and the end pointer. Start will move from left to right and end will move from right to left. So using a while loop until start and end don't intersect. So until start is always less than end. And now we have to also check the characters pointing at start and end are same. So we check if character at the start index position is equal to the character at the end index position. So if this is the case now we have to extract the character. So for example we are here. We are extracting that character and we have to check if that character which we extracted is same as start and end. So I extract the character ch which is pointing at the start index position. Now we have to implement this condition. We have to check the prefix. So prefix is being pointed by the start index position. So until the start is less than or equal to end, you keep moving forward. And now we have to compare this character which we are currently pointing at if it is same as the character pointing at start. So if s dot char at of start is equal to the character which we are currently pointing at ch, then we have to keep moving the start pointer. So this is a while loop, right? So start will keep on moving. So here, as you can see, first we are going to compare if these two are same. Yes, these two are same. So start is here and end is here. Yes, both are the same. Now ch is also the element pointing at start, right? Because we are pointing at the start. So we are comparing if start is pointing at the ch, yes, a. So move start forward. Now start is here. Check if start is, is still equal to ch. Yes. So move start forward. Now check if b is equal to the character ch. Now ch was initially a. Now it b. So we break the loop. Now we have to do the same for end. So end will move from right to left, right? So until end is greater than start and the character pointing at end s dot char at of end is equal to the current character. Only then we keep moving the end pointer to the left. So this is a while loop again. End will keep moving forward until this condition is same. Now outside this while loop. So finally, let's take this example. Here you are left with this string. So start is here and end is here. Now you have to find the length of this. So the length of this is start minus end plus 1. So to calculate this, you have to do end minus start plus 1 will give you this length plus 1 because of the index position. So we have to return the min length. So I calculate the length. Let me name it min length. So it will be equal to end minus start plus 1. And finally, we are going to return min length. Now let's try to run the code. The test case are being accepted. Let's submit the code and the solution is accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n because we are iterating through the input string 1 by accessing all the characters present inside the input s. And the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.